there, my name is Trolls, and you were just listening to Everwave and a couple of other ADO instruments all playing together. Um, this is the second demo we're doing for Everwave, and it's one of those instruments that keeps growing as I'm using it. First, I made a tutorial video that you should watch if you just want to hear the articulations. And then I was like, oh my god, this instrument is talking to me. It's allowing me to do new things with music that I couldn't do before. And it really ties into breaking the notion of what a normal music instrument could be. We all have our violins and our orchestras and guitars and drums and synthesizers and synth drums or whatever. We're all sort of dancing around the same tree, but how often does a true new instrument really come along? So with Everwave and some of our other custom instruments, we work with a master luthier. We build these things in real life and then we deep sample them so they can live forever in the computer and under your fingertips as well. So um, in this video, I just want to take you through this demo, show you all the different articulations that are used from Everwave and also talk a little bit about the other instruments you are listening to. There's also that special jazz guitar in there that's coming from something we're working on. Um, but predominantly really take a look at Everwave and try to go deep into this beautiful custom instrument that is certainly going to live in my template for decades to come as it's truly just one of those super inspirational instruments. As you can hear it can be really really big, it can be really really subtle as well, it can do all the strange motion pictures, effects and all that stuff, it can be epic if it needs to, it can sort of be many many different things. One of the benefits of working the computer is that we can tweak these instruments into even more playable creations than the one in the reality. Um, the Everwave is a large, complicated contraption, uh, but on the keyboard is an ease and breeze to play. So I'll see you in the doll. Mm -hmm. So that first animation that you saw was exclusively scored with Everwave. Uh, let me just um, show you some of the different um, special effect sounds that we got running here together with the e -boat. Um It's not just that we played it with fingers and picks and used different materials on it, it's also using e so we can get all the strings to resonate in all these beautiful ways. But, but uh, check out here the special effects and the e combined. But to me, where the library really starts shining is with the many playable patches. Um, just check out here the Ebo 2. Um, it has higher frequencies than Ebo 1. Uh, we try to Ebo the instrument in different ways. And one of the really cool features in Everwave is also that you can stack articulations. Let me just try to play here with one and then I'm going to stack a few others and just see how big the sound gets. It's not only that the library is really big on its own, but by blending all these articulations together, you can create the most massive organic textures. It's like the dream of a drone library come true. Just this um, bow alone here is so buzzy. And all dynamics and crossfades are completely controllable on your mod wheel. It's really, really beautiful to just sit and sculpt these drones. Um, try to hear now, I'm going to start a little more subtly and then really grow um, this single articulation into like a bloom of notes.
like it immediately gives me reminders to the Joker's movie, the beautiful soundtrack by Hilder, Gunnar Dottir. Once the demo gets started, I also use this Epo 2 here and move the mod wheel up and down on it. So it creates this more sort of eerie kind of texture. I'm um, still beautiful, but perhaps borderlining into that sort of twilight zone between light and darkness from a compositional point of view. And even below the Ebo, I have this sliding glass on the strings. Uh, we took a piece of soft glass and ran it over the strings to create these sort of drony kind of atmospheres. Um, it just lies behind and sort of flickers um, as the Ebo keeps pitch bending its notes. And then we get into this early mid part of the composition um, where I add ostinato strings and French horns, but there's actually a lot of Everwave behind it, help building that tension up here. Um, if you notice these three tracks up here, um, there's actually a lot of drone activity going behind the orchestra just to like make it more massive. We also have this um, new patch here from our Phoenix, which is a new Hyper Tools library coming soon, where we have tempo synced, vocal TikTok patches, all that sort of percussive stuff we use in trailers often and in action tracks. We've done it with the mouth as well this time. So you can add them to the composition and create this sort of unique layer as well. Let me just try to isolate the five different Everwaves that's playing through that segment. You may also have noticed that there's this big sort of subwoofer sound in the very bottom part of what we just heard. So you had the beautiful Ebo on the top and then the dark sort of subwoofer cascade of strings in the bottom. Everwave comes with three different microphone positions. So you have a clean mix, you have a sort of processed mix, and then you have an LFE or subwoofer friendly channel here. Let me try to um, dial up the microphones here in order so you can really hear when the sub kicks in.
And then the piece moves into this sort of jazzy section. And even in that, there is a wave going on that sort of sounds like simple swells and rolls. And in context, they sound like this. was coming from our beautiful Basantar Plucked. Um, I weirdly enough find that all our custom instruments just go well together because they all have that sort of unique nature and you never really know what you're going to hear. And I don't know why, but it just works together. And we also got our Century Ostinados playing behind to build up a little more sort of action underneath the track. And then towards the end, there's another two layers of Everwaves just going at it. And I love using the EPO underneath the sustains because you can play those sort of more clean notes. They almost sound like overtones, and I guess they are, but it helps provide a melodic structure to that sort of deep drony underbed. Um, towards the very end, um, I also made uh, just a little custom patch to show off um, how the modulation works. Um, if you notice here in the browser, you can choose between all the different articulations. In this case here, I use stack and combine three different patches. We have our mixer here. We have a sequencer if you want to sequence stuff. We have a four part advanced modulation effects matrix here where you can go completely deep and just combine anything you want and assign it to any CC you want. But in this case here, I actually went to our modulation module and used the gate function here. Um, I right click here and assign this to my mod wheel so I can control the gate in real time time, which sounds like this. And it's neat to gate um, organic textures like this because you can make it super tight and on the grid, but you get that sort of organic matter ever-changing ever waves all over it and really that's the essence of this library it's ever-changing we've sampled it incredibly deep you have all your sustained articulations they're all playable and melodic you got different types of bows and e-bows and we have percussive articulations and a variety of special articulations we also have another video where i'm not talking where you can go deeper into all the articulations but yeah this is Everwave in a nutshell, and I find it right between sort of that new style of Hollywood with the Joker and these very organic soundtracks, and then on the other hand, perfect for a meditation album as well. It just inspires on the key. This composition purely came out of all of it. Oh, and then there's that jazz guitar. Um, I can't really talk about what it is, but I can definitely show you here on the keys. Let me just move the camera over here and just play something live. 